This is a real turning point where this technology is used by a service that, that reaches a billion people. This has never happened before. WhatsApp can't read those messages. The government can't read those messages, even if it comes to WhatsApp with a wiretap, because WhatsApp can't comply with the wiretap. The basic idea is, is that if I have a phone, I have what's called a private key on this, on this device. Elsewhere on a server, let's say it's WhatsApp server, there's what's called a public key. And that public key is used to send, send me a message. Once that message reaches me, the only way to decrypt it is through the private key. So if you don't have both, you cannot decrypt the message. The WhatsApp server does not have both. It only has the public key. And so if a government, for instance, goes to WhatsApp and says, I want to read the message that was sent to me, uh, WhatsApp cannot comply. Some governments have called for what's called a backdoor in, in encryption like this. So if you open a, a backdoor in your encryption system, um, how do you control who gets access to the backdoor? You immediately open up a hole in your system. It almost defeats the purpose of the system. But the other big question is, is um, can you completely trust your government? But on the other hand, you do want to protect your citizens and their privacy. And in that sense, this encryption, and this is one big reason why WhatsApp is doing this, it provides that personal um, protection to individual privacy.